Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplus, they, she, he, and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are looking at The Best We Could Do by T. Boy, an illustrated memoir published by Abrams Comic Arts in 2017. Content notes for complicated pregnancy and birth, plus child loss, war, hunger, and escaping conflict. According to her own website, Quo T. Bui was born in Vietnam and came to the United States in 1978 as part of the Boat People wave of refugees fleeing Southeast Asia at the end of the Vietnam War. Her debut graphic memoir, The Best We Could Do, has been selected for the American Book Award, a common book for UCLA and other colleges and universities, All City Read by Seattle and San Francisco Public Libraries, a National Book Critics Circle finalist in autobiography, and an Eisner Award finalist in reality-based comics. It made over 30 best of 2017 book lists, including Bill Gates' top five books. Picks. She illustrated the picture book A Different Pond, written by the poet Bao Fi, for which she won a Caldecott honor with her son, with her son Heen. She co-illustrated the children's book Chicken of the Sea, written by Pulitzer winner Viet Tan Nguyen and his son Ellison. Her short comics can be found online at The Nib, Pen America, and Boom California. She is currently researching and drawing a work of graphic nonfiction about immigration, detention, and deportation to be published by One World Random House. End quote. Keywords that came to mind reading this book family, motherhood, dreams deferred, escape, legacy, culture, urban life, choices, and birth. Quote, the best we could do, the debut graphic novel memoir by T. Bui, is an intimate look at one family's journey from their war torn home in Vietnam to their new lives in America. Exploring the anguish of immigration and the lasting effects that displacement has on a child and her family, but documents the story of her family's daring escape after the fall of South Vietnam in the 1970s and the difficulties they faced building new lives for themselves. The heart of Bowie's story is a universal struggle. While adjusting to life as a first-time mother, she ultimately discovers what it means to be a parent. The endless sacrifices, the unnoticed gestures, and the depths of unspoken love. Despite how impossible it seems to take on the simultaneous roles of both parent and child, Bowie pushes through. With haunting poetic writing and breathtaking art, she examines the strength of family, the importance of identity, and the meaning of home. The best we could do brings to life her journey of understanding and providing inspiration to all who search for a better future while longing for a simpler past. End quote. Both the writing and art in The Best We Could Do are extremely skilled, weaving many different strands of her family's story together into a book that is both hard and easy to read at the same time, obviously for different reasons. Clearly a story from the perspective of one family coming out of Vietnam when they did, Bui does a good job of highlighting the differences that made each person's experiences their own. Gender was not terribly surprising, pretty binary, although as we dip pretty equally into the history of both of Bui's heterosexual parents, it did even out on that front. That said, there is a lot of heterosexual reproduction. Being Vietnamese American, the social construct of race is fairly central, even if a bit one note, pretty average for a memoir colonization of Vietnam was also touched on both in a reporting of history way, but also in the ways it impacted both of Bowie's parents' lives and education. Both class and the failure of bodies to be perfectly able-bodied gets touched on a bit, although it I wouldn't say they were central themes or purposefully deconstructed. To conclude, it was also interesting to see some light observation of Vietnam after the bombing of Hiroshima, which, having just read two manga on the topic, perhaps jumped out at me a bit more than it would have otherwise. I think I'm going to go with four out of five stars. Bye y'all, keep reading, and organized and capitalist depression. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.